Okay, here we go. Just waiting for it to kick in. <laughs> I always hate the beginning of lives. So let's hope that this works. Hi guys! Hello, hello, and welcome to the launch party! Try not to be too crazy. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Let me make sure my camera's good. We got paints. We got my face. Gonna wait for some people to hop on here so we can chat. If you are here, say hello in the chat. I'd love to talk to you guys. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hi, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful Valentine's Day. I am excited to have you guys all here. It's launch day for my brushes. It's been a fun project in the works for a little bit. So it's, I'm excited to finally get it out there. Um, and yeah, it's just super fun. Okay, let me just make sure everything is good. Top chat. So I can pop out chat. Here we go. So I can see you guys. Hi everyone. Welcome. Okay. So welcome to my live launch party. I wish I had like, you know, music and like decorations or something to make it like a party, but we'll just make it a party with just me here, <laughs> but it's fine. And you here. Um, so during this, you guys can ask any questions that you might have um, regarding the brushes or even art. I'm here to answer questions. Um, the brushes are going to be for sale in exactly 13 minutes. Is that what it says? 13 minutes, I think. Wait, let me refresh. Pretty sure. At 12 minutes and 21 seconds. Um, at craftamo.com. So www.craftamo, C R A F T A M O.com. Um, they will be available there. I know one of the questions that I'm going to get is uh, how much are they? Because they are shipped worldwide, you're going to have to go on the website where you are located and then you'll have to see what the cost is for you. Because if I say one thing, it's going to be different for everybody in different regions. And it's great that they offer shipping worldwide. So make sure you log on to Craftimo's website so you can check. Um, hello, Emma. Hope you and your family are well. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi to you in Montreal, Italy. It's always so cool seeing people from everywhere. Michigan, Florida, Hungary, the Netherlands. Like, I don't think my brain comprehends sometimes the level of reach YouTube has and how so many of you join from like all over the world. Madrid and Spain, amazing. Southern England, like that's just so cool. So thank you guys for, you know, your support and just being here. Um, it's awesome. Uh, I had purchased your snap brushes you recommended when you first began your channel. Are you, are your brushes similar to those? Actually, yes, they are. Um, the one thing I loved about the prints and snap brushes when I started painting was the snappiness of them. They were a bit stiffer. They weren't as soft as other brushes and I found they had better control. So when designing my new brushes, I wanted it to have that same similar snap. Do I still have, I still have some Princeton, like this is a brand new one. They have that similar snappiness to them, which I really love um, and tried to kind of emulate. Um, but yeah, they are, they are similar. Hi to you in Denmark, Scotland, Maryland, North Carolina, Denmark. Wow. Wisconsin, Florida. I'm actually leaving for Florida tomorrow in Australia. Hi guys. This is so cool. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going on my first vacation with the family ever tomorrow. So I'm going to be gone for two weeks. I have videos scheduled to come out the next two weeks. Um, but my husband and I haven't even been on a vacation together before. And the first time we're doing it, we've decided to take two kids. <laughs> it's going to be insane. Um, but it's going to be great. I'm really nervous, but sunshine. That's all I can think about sunshine. That's all that matters. So 
Um, your brushes have a more pointed tip and a little bit fuller. Yes, I would agree. Their tips are wildly good. <laughs> um, so I will talk about the brush set, obviously, because that's why we are here. I have to actually gather all my, my brushes. Um, I did do a demo the other day on Monday's video. So if you watch that, you kind of know what to expect a little. Um, I might do like a couple more demo strokes with my brushes again, and then I'm going to paint some bright red and pink florals for Valentine's Day with them to kind of show you how they work. So when um, you buy the brushes, the back of the card, so usually if you bought my brushes before, where's the box? I'm so bad at this. Oh, well, when you when you buy the brushes, you get a card inside that has the artwork from the front and on the back there is a link that you type in and it will give you another demo video different from the first one that I put out on Monday. It has the same intro, so don't think it's the same video, but then I go through the same kind of strokes. But then I also teach you how to paint this floral painting with that video. So when you get your brushes, you will also get a video tutorial of how to paint them. Um, question, is practice the only solution to gaining more confidence in your artwork? Yeah, I'm sorry. I wish there was like a magic kind of pill we could take and just be better. <laughs> it's not. It's just practice and time um, and just playing around. My favorite way to learn is not necessarily watching others. I found a lot, especially through the beginning of my art journey, I just played a lot and I learned about water control the more I did it. Um, so it's important for you when you're painting to take note of what's working and what's not working. So if you know, you're painting flowers and you're getting a lot of those kind of like cauliflower blooms and you're like, what is happening? Look it up. I have videos on it on YouTube and you can kind of start to understand why. And then you can kind of just develop your skill based on what wasn't working and then, you know, learn from that but a lot of it is trial and error like all of it <laughs> so just keep playing around it's good to get like get a cheap sketchbook and just make it your play sketchbook and learn from that um question with the new set coming out are there any flowers or botanicals you haven't painted yet you're thinking of giving a try this year honestly i feel like in my youtube career of painting flowers I feel like I've painted almost every flower there is I don't know what else I could do with flowers and it's so it's it's hard because some people are so into the flowers and I love doing flowers some people are so not into flowers so I try and balance it out like my content and stuff on YouTube but I don't know if there's any specific floral I said hi from Toronto that's my mom hi mom everyone say hi to Lynn Saunders hi <laughs> Could embarrass you. Um, if anybody has a different flower that they'd like to see me paint or learn, I would be up for the challenge. Um, I've done a lot of them. So I, I'm at a loss sometimes. I'm like, do people want more flowers? Do I keep doing the same thing? I don't know. So I would love suggestions from you guys. Um, but yeah, so the brush set, if you didn't, if you missed Monday's video, where did I put the box? Here, I put the box here. So you get a box. See, people are saying hi, mom. So you get the box. This is the new box. It's the botanical brush set. So obviously you don't have to use these for just florals. These brushes are good for all kinds of paintings, um, anything really. But when designing them, I had florals in mind. So they come with six brushes. So my first set that I, that I released, was it two years ago? A year ago? Two years ago? I think it was two years ago. I don't even know what time it is. Um, this was my first brush set. This was kind of like my essential set. When I started with watercolor, I started with a size 12, a size 6, and a size 2 round. Those were my three brushes, and they carried me for years, and I was using the Princeton Snap brushes. Those I used most, and I gravitate towards most when I'm painting. They're like the essential kind of set. Um, but then as I learned lots and lots more about watercolor and painted lots more, um, I discovered other shapes and sizes and the benefits of using them and really cool things that you could do. 
So I've designed a six piece set and they are a size 10 round, which I love a good round brush. Rounds will always have my heart. It's just, you know, traditional brush shape. Um, then we have a filbert, which is a size eight filbert. I was originally going to go with a size 12 filbert for this, uh, this set. And then the more I painted with it, the more I realized I, I felt like I could get really big petals and small petals with the size eight. So it was kind of like a perfect size. Then we have a dagger, which is newer to me in the past year or so, which is a lot of fun. Um, and I really like these for leaves. Mostly you can create petals with them, which I'll show you, but I really love them for leaves. And then the newest brush shape, which I was introduced to by my friend Jillian Boone, who also has a YouTube channel, which you should definitely check out. She is an incredible floral artist. She used these flat brushes for florals and I had never thought about using them for that in my life. And then I tried it and I was like, Ooh, I really like it. It gives this kind of like geometric sharper um, shape to your flowers that are not like petals don't always have to be rounded. You know what I mean? And I just really love the shapes that you can get with these brushes. So I have a half inch and a quarter inch flat, which are a lot of fun to use. And they're not like the short flat ones. These are longer. Um, I think Princeton has them and they're called stroke brushes but I really enjoy using these. And then I have a size one detail. It's kind of like a, a rigger or a liner brush. It's longer than another size one. Like, do I have a, that's a size two, but like that's a size two, but you know what I mean? It's a lot longer. So the benefit of having a longer detail brush like this is that it will hold more paint in a way that you can drag it out and use it a bit longer and it gives you really nice precise lines which is awesome especially for centers of flowers and stems and all that stuff so that is the set of six brushes i'm going to show you how to use them again um, let me just make sure i'm watching the chat as well i know you're really into flowers but i have to say i very much enjoy your illustration series and color mixing series oh good um yeah i've been really into illustration and I want to get better at that. And color mixing, I love. That for me is calming. I love color mixing. So I think I have a whole playlist on YouTube <laughs> where I do that. So definitely check that out. Um, when you sketch with a pencil, what lead graphite hardness do you use? Uh, whatever one I can find on my desk, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I like, I have an H pencil. This was just in a box. Honestly, it, I don't really, even my Craftima ones, I don't even know what they are. They're HB. It's just like an HB. I don't pick a certain um, hardness, <laughs> I'm trying to say, um, to my sketching. <clears throat> I, I just draw really lightly. And then my must-have is the eraser. That's what I find is make or break. I love my kneaded erasers. They just erase really well and... I don't know. They're great for stress too, but yeah, I, I don't have a specific, um, hardness of pencil that I use. Whatever works, just draw really, really lightly. Um, I love the flat brushes for florals. Okay. The brushes are going live in one minute. Very exciting stuff. I love your alphabet flower series and your color mixing series was definitely helpful and fun. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. I'm, I'm glad you guys like that. Okay. 42 seconds. They're going to go live. So I hope you guys can grab them. Um, also things to note are that, uh, there are only 500 sets that have been in production for this brush set. So they will well, hopefully go fast. <laughs> um, when we launched my first brush set, they, they sold out in an hour. Um, so I'm hoping if you guys are interested, you can get one. Um, but yeah, so I think they're almost live, almost live. This is exciting. And then we will get into painting. You're not going to just look at my face. I promise. <laughs> I just want to make sure that I'm covering all of the things. Um, where did I see it? 
Okay, so I think they are, oh, and I, of course I exited it out. Craftimo! <laughs> I'm so silly. And now I'm all flustered. Okay, and they are for sale right now. One person has purchased, woo! <laughs> Amazing. Um, so exciting. So yeah, so these are super fun brushes. Um, like I said, they are, I, I've loved working with Craftimo. It's been such a fun um, collaboration with them. We're in the works for other fun things too, but it's just, it's a dream come true one, kind of having your your name on a product that you helped design. And it's just, I don't know, it's been so much fun. I've been so grateful to them. Um, uh, someone said it's live. I can buy how. So go to www.craftimo.com um, and click purchase. <laughs> so yeah, hold on. I'm just trying to find where did I see it? Um, my brain is gone. Let's see. I don't know where I found that. Brushes. They're going to be... I looked at Craftimo found brushes. Are they going to be teaching videos like the craft series so with um with this purchase with the box you do get a tutorial on how to use them and how to paint the florals on the front yay Sonia thank you so much for your support Laurie thank you so much Leslie wow yay <laughs> Bonnie thank you so much oh it's so exciting I hope you guys love them yay yay Yay. Okay, I was looking for something. My brain, this is, this is, I, I can't, I can't focus. Oh, I hear a husband. Husband, come. Hello, friends. Come and say hi. Hello, friends. No, but come here. Hi, friends. <laughs> Hello, everybody. They're alive. They're alive? They're alive. They're the alive. Brushes. Not alive. The brushes. They're, they're alive. They're alive. Remember when we did this two years? Was it two years ago? Yeah, it was like two years ago, I think. Oh, my goodness. Go to the web page. Go to the hey, web page. It's right here. It's right here. Let's see. There is currently... Oh, wow. Re refresh. I hate Macs. There we the go. Mac computers? Yeah. Wow. Yay. Thank you, Kimberly. I hope you're yes. feeling better. I remember you. Thank you, everybody. All right, I'm going Thank to get you, the baby. Okay, is he awake? Bring me the baby. Hello, Lynn Saunders. <laughs> okay, I'll bring the wake baby. I'm trying to find an email. What are you trying to find? Something, but I can't find it. Oh, okay, that's fine. Love you, bye. Bye. Um, okay, so yeah. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Sue. Oh my gosh, you guys are the best, honestly. I have the best viewers and audience. You guys are awesome. Ah, this is so exciting. Um, I don't know, what else do you guys wanna know? <laughs> it's a party. It's a party. We can paint, let's paint. Yay, thank you guys so much. Oh, this is so exciting. I remember doing this before and it was just like, wow, 1500 recent viewers. Holy moly. 97 have it in their cart. This is crazy. Yay. Thank you guys. Okay. So you know what? Let's to celebrate. Let's, let's paint a little because we can. Okay. So full painting. Let's go here. Hopefully the lighting won't change too much in here. Um, it's been, <laughs> been one of those days where it's like sunny and then not sunny and then sunny and then not sunny um okay so just a closer look at the brushes mine are already stained because I've been using them um 
but that just means they're well loved. So the gray for this set I decided on um, white is kind of my signature, but I wanted something a little bit different, but something also beautifully aesthetic. So like the gray with the um, rose gold had my heart and I was just like, yeah, this is where I want to go. And I actually tried to match the blue flowers to the gray. It's like a bluish gray, which you will learn how to mix in the tutorial. Um, <clears throat> someone said, can you talk about the experience and work that went into creating this brush set? It's brag time. This is your party. We're also proud of you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So I, first I was choosing color. I knew that I wanted to stick kind of with the same that I did with these, just so they kind of like, no, like you notice that they're mine. Um, so I stuck with the same bristles because I love the snappiness. I like the color, even though we stained them, like all of mine are stained, but that just means they're well loved. But right when they come out of the package, they are just perfect, right? So I love that kind of, um, what's it like a burnt orange kind of tip with the white. I just love that. I think it looks so nice. Um, so I picked the colors. I was brainstorming what shapes and sizes I wanted. Um, like I was telling you and which was really difficult because if you guys know that I have created some, uh, subscription boxes recently and where there were 24 brushes included. And the fun thing is, is that three of these brushes were not even in those boxes. So the flat, the, the half, half inch flat, the one detail and the quarter inch flat are not in the subscription boxes. These three, however, are, um, but they're a different color and they come as a set. I have been asked if you can purchase them separately. At the moment, you cannot. They only come as a set. It's a limited run. Um, but if you have the subscription boxes, these, th these three do come in them. But these are new because these are a new love of mine. So, um, but I'm going to show you how we can kind of paint it. So I'm just going to do like a couple strokes and then I'll do a painting. Um, also, this palette, I have a video coming out soon, which is a lot of fun. Um, this is my ultimate palette that's coming out in a couple weeks. I filled 50 wells of colors, so I'll, you'll see more about that in another video, but I just kind of want, I've been really enjoying the paints that are in here. So one thing I love about this flat brush, like you can create really nice straight lines, obviously. Um, it's really easy to do and use for that but because this is like a floral series which I feel like most people wouldn't think to use a flat brush for florals and I have Jillian to thank for that because she introduced me to this and I was like oh my god I love it um you can use it flat down and you know create these kind of brushes hold on I think baby's coming baby's coming is he in a mood um uh, a little bit <laughs> are you in a mood my little valentine are you in a mood? He went poop. Did you go poop? Not yet. He oh, went, he okay. Just said, he just said poop. <laughs> Look. Wait. Yeah, paint. Yeah, paint. Do you love mommy's paint? So I just thought of something. Yeah. To everybody that's live right now. Yeah. Um, if your husbands haven't bought you anything for Valentine's Day yet, you should buy five brush sets and share it with all your girlfriends using his credit card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Should I do that? Yeah. Yeah. I bought you a card. A card? I'm yeah, kidding. we talked about this in here. <laughs> or Watch you can just treat room. yourself. <laughs> you can just treat yourself. Do you want to see the brush? What is this? What is it? Oh, you want to paint? Yeah, I know. You like painting just like your brother did. Mm -hmm. And I do let my kids use my brushes. Um, hence why some of them are just beat. Okay, do yes. you want to paint a little bit? I'll let you paint a little bit. Here, let's give you a different brush that I is a little bit beat that needs oh uh, someone said that uh marcia said that she would like you to s like to see more tutorials using paints from the subscription box yeah so that's a th um i haven't asked that before too um the only thing and i i can definitely do that um not everyone has access to them because they're not something you can just buy. So that's why I kind of shy away from it and keep it for just the subscription boxes. But I can definitely do that as well. Um, and it's just because they're not available to buy anymore. And I try new supplies that people have access to. That's the only thing. But we can definitely do that. Do you want to paint with blue? Yep. Okay, ready? Blue. And go. <gasps> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Booby. Booby. Booby? <laughs> no, it's a dolphin. Okay, what else? Oh, are you trying to do bluey? You want this blue? <gasps> are you going to paint for people? Here you go. Bluey. 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 Uh, no, you paint bluey. Ready? Look. And go, my little wow. artist. Wow. Bluey. Bluey. Oh, so beautiful. Oh Hubby and I don't do Valentine's Day. Our anniversary was just two weeks ago. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, we don't really do Valentine's Day either. I, you know what? I've never loved Valentine's Day for, ah! like, the the oh, couples what? aspect. I've always loved it with kids. Like, That's when I was teaching, it was my favorite to do it in my class and yeah. make them Valentine's. Or Do you want green? Okay. Put it in the water. And then you put it in the paint. Boop, 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 boop. Green. Go. <gasps> he loves this. <laughs> he does. Mommy. Yeah. Yes, I did. That's why I treated myself perfect. It's Australian. It's the 15th. Wait. That's, that's my twin girls, 22nd. Oh, happy birthday Aww. to them. 6 a.m. there. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for joining. Good morning. Are you mixing all of my paints? Good morning uh, to those of you that are in the future. <laughs> Miles, can you say hi? Hi. Hi. What's your name? Miles. Miles. Say, I'm Miles. And how old are you? Wait. Can you say one? Wait. One? Wait. One. Okay, mister. He's a poor kid has a cold, and of course we're going on vacation tomorrow. Yep. Right? You just like to keep us on our toes, huh? Kid sick on a cruise. Should be fun. Gonna be great. More? Wish us luck. More. <gasps> wow. Look at that blue. Do you like blue? What's your favorite color? <gasps> wow. Bluey. Blue? Bluey. Oh, bluey? Bluey. Bluey. Like Bluey. Here's bluey. Mommy's making bluey. I don't remember what bluey looks like. What do the eyes look like? There's bluey. Yay. Okay, are you going to go downstairs with daddy now? Yeah, let's go get your milk. And bluey. I can fit in bluey. You can go watch bluey. You're good there. <laughs> okay. I think that's good. Okay. Um, Give me the bips. Okay. I love you. Give me the bips. You say I love you? I you. I you. I you. I you. My Valentine. Can I have a kiss? <gasps> Can I have a kiss? Daddy. 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 I love you. Can you say bye? Bye. Say I'll see you later. <laughs> see <laughs> you. <laughs> Your baby. That's bye, cool. baby. Love you. Okay. Oh, is that a stinky butt? That might be a stinky butt. Oh, what else is new? Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, sorry. I got distracted with cuteness. Um, okay, so I'll get back to using these. <laughs> now there's bluey on my page. But, you know, that's, that's how we do it with kids, right? Do I have another piece of paper? Sure do. Okay. Okay, and back to the other brushes. Focus. Focus, Emma. Okay. Yay, thank you, Nancy. Emma, what was that earlier you said was a great eraser? A kneaded eraser. This one, so um, they come in their, like, little squares. Uh, Faber-Castell is the one I have. Let me just close my blinds because now the sun's coming in. Um, yeah. Just a kneaded eraser. You can find them at art stores. Doesn't have to be a Faber Castell one at all. But yeah, okay. Now I have paint on my desk. Thank you, Mr. Miles. What else is new? Okay. Okay. So <laughs> focus, focus, new brushes, launch party, and go. So yeah, I love these for painting flowers. Like, it just gives a bit of a sharper edge. So this is like using it flat down, but if you put it on its side, so like one of the tips down, you can get these almost rounded, but a little bit sharper petal shapes, which I really like. And they're just kind of fun, but then you can put them on its side and make like shorter, not shorter, thinner ones. It's just, I don't know. This is not the tutorial, but just kind of having fun with it. It was, I was introduced to the Filbert ones first, which are also a lot of fun and they give you kind of like that effortless 
petal shape, just the way that it's rounded. Um, I don't remember which colors are which in here, so we're just gonna play. But yeah, these I like think more like peony flowers. And just kind of dragging them. So with any new brush, if you do get these, um, it, it there's a learning curve to it. There always is. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, not every brush is just gonna be magically easy to use, especially because I went from using a round brush to all these other shapes. I was like, okay, why is it not working like this? Why is it, you know, it was just, I don't know. It was, it was a little frustrating at first, but anything that's new that you've never tried is going to be frustrating. So don't think it's you necessarily. It's just, it's something you have to develop, a skill that you have to develop. And even still, when I'm playing with these brushes, um, it's just, you know, I'm still figuring it out and just like seeing how to hold it. Like if you hold it this way, what kind of shape do you get? If you hold it slightly on its side, what shape do you get? I find kind of like flicking it in and twisting it a little bit gives a bit of a better shape, you know? So it's just a lot of fun to practice with. The one I did find, oh, we're 20% sold so far in 16 minutes. That's pretty good. Um, the one I did find so frustrating, not this brush, but the shape that I was like, how do people use this is a dagger. Um, I know Christy Lice, Christy Lice, Christy Rice loves her daggers. Um, and she has some great brushes too. And I was really intrigued when I saw her using them. Um, someone else, I forget who it was. And I was like, okay, I got to try a dagger. This was before I did my subscription boxes. And I remember trying it. And the first dagger I bought was awful <laughs> not awful it's a great brush but this is a different dagger okay this is a princeton neptune which is a very soft like squirrel hair brush and it's a completely different shape okay like it has that point but it was just very long very soft and very angular um, and when I used the dagger for the first time, I was like, I don't like this. I don't understand it. Um, I played with it a bit more and I kind of got the hang of it a bit, but it still wasn't my favorite. And then I went to a different kind of dagger shape, which I love more. And this gives you more control. Um, thank you, Bev, for your purchase. The happy hippie intuitive. Thank you so much. Um, so this one I'll show you. It's a lot of fun. I love... You can do petals and stuff like that with this, but I love it for leaves mostly, like long, luscious kind of leaves. So I try and use the curve side down and I'll put the point down, light pressure and then heavy pressure and then kind of drag it to the side, drag it back, twist it a little bit. And it's just, I don't know, it's just fun. Like for those, that looks like a bird just fun leaves and this takes practice just hold it different ways you can do like um a stem it's more of a brush that instead of dragging it along like vertically you kind of drag it to its side a bit and it creates these effortless leaf shapes but then you can have these kind of more, you know, boxy rectangular shapes as well. You could always put it on its flat side and use it kind of like a round brush. So light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure. You can try the other way, make it thinner, but I like using it kind of like on its side like this. And then you just got to kind of twist and then lift off but it does take a lot of practice to use. So try not to get frustrated with it. And you really just have to fill up a whole page of strokes to kind of get the hang of it before you dive into a painting. So just keep that in mind. I had to do that. I was frustrated. I was like, I don't understand. But with any new skill, you gotta you gotta just practice. So it's, it's a lot of fun though. And I do like using it for like more rounded petals or even leaves so like a eucalyptus leaf so like I'll do a little stem here and then I'll put the tip down 
and I'll move just the back side around and then put the tip back where it is and move it back. And it gives this really pretty like eucalyptus shape leaf, shape leaf, shaped leaf is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> just moving the back side around like that, which is a lot of fun or like a clover almost. And then you can do the same thing for petals too. I think I have a, a short on my Instagram of how I used it for petals. So I'm just moving the back around, putting that, kind of anchoring that tip down, that point, and then just moving the back around. You can just get these really cool petal shapes. And I've seen also other people, so they'll like put color on the back side and then put the tip into a different color and get like this dual color stroke which is also beautiful for petals. <clears throat> so let me get a bit more yellow. And then get pink on the tip. I'm like, look. Like, look at those strokes. Effortless petals. Again, just kind of practicing that moving the back around. And you can get this like, oh my gosh, what is, what is the flower? Pansy, <laughs> there we go. This pansy kind of color or kind of shaped flower like that so perfectly. So the dagger is so much fun. Um, the quarter inch is like the half inch, but smaller. So I like using these kind of like for like little cosmos or daisies. Again, I like to put it on its side a bit. And it just creates these really unique petals that you don't really get with a, a, a round brush. Because it's a bit of a wider tip to it. But then you can even do like daisies, like those tiny little, I don't know, it's just fun. This is not a great example. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now, but either way, a lot of fun. Got a little bit of brown. And then for the liner or the detail brush just creates the most precise little lines that you can use for stems or you could use for centers of your flowers. When will you be coming out with a mixed media subscription? Um, we're we're still in the works of talking about what we're gonna do um i don't know if it will necessarily be like mixed media but there is some fun things that we're working on um it won't be for a while because we're still in the beginning stages but yeah that's all i can say um how do i feel about academy watercolors I've never tried them. I have never tried them. Okay, so I'm going to paint and try and answer questions. So this was kind of like a little demo of just some things you can do with them. I'm going to paint like just a bunch of bright colored Valentine's Day florals and I'm going to use my Academy watercolor paper. Um, but yeah, I've never used Academy watercolors. I don't know what those are. Um, recently, a lot of these in this palette are actually Shinhan watercolors and I am loving, loving, loving them. Um, they are so much fun. Okay. I'm going to go bright red here, bright red. And I'm just going to load up my brush, maybe take some off, take some a little bit lighter. Let's grab some pink. Why not? Maybe a little bit of yellow. Just kind of 
have some fun just painting a whole page of flowers. Want some bright reds, bright pinks. Feel free if you have any more questions to ask. I do love this paper too. This is a good paper for this. Let's try like a peony. Mm. Maybe a bit more pinky, purpley. I'm gonna flip it upside down. So we do have uh, a representative from Craftimo in the comments answering questions. So they can also help with that if you have any questions about specifics like shipping costs and um, time and all of that. Like, look how fluffy this like peony is. Just effortless with the filbert. So fun. Does anybody have any fun Valentine's Day plans today? <clears throat> Which paper is in your subscription box? Um, so it's not, uh, it's a paper that we sourced. It's not a brand necessarily that we, it's not like arches or anything, but I did test it amongst a bunch of other papers and it was the one I like best. The one what I feel like it is the closest to is um if you've ever tried B watercolor paper, it's pretty similar to that actually. I'm gonna grab like look at these these leaves. How are these brushes different than the ones you had before, other than the shapes? Um, they're actually fairly similar. It's the shapes that are that are different and the color. Do you feel the bristles are superior to a lot of others? Um, I, I love them. Uh, they are synthetic, so they're not animal hair or anything. Uh, these are vegan. Um, but I, I love the snappiness of them and the stiffness. I find for beginners, because I remember trying out a soft hair brush when I was a beginner, and it was just really intimidating and kind of frustrating just because the control is so much different and just trying to figure out how much water to have on your brush that when you have a really thirsty brush was very frustrating so I don't know I, I really like these brushes and just how they carry water they're just a little bit stiffer easier to control but um I feel like people will tell you who have had these brushes in the past that they really enjoy the bristles and the snappiness of them. And if I'm wrong, you can let me know. <laughs> you ship to the UK? Yes. Have you ever considered a collaboration with Windsor and Newton? Um, they, I remember reaching out to them at the beginning, but they're a very, uh, they didn't respond. <laughs> so, and that was a long time ago, but I've really enjoyed my collaboration with, um, 
craft demo because it's just such a an intimate kind of working environment where you really have a lot of hands-on decisions about the style and the products and the ideas. It's just a lot of um, benefits that I've found to working with Craftmo, which has been so much fun. Um, like a lot of this has been of my own and they are very open to ideas and collaborating on our vision. Um, as you may know, they, they work with a lot of different artists now that we've kind of kicked off in the past couple of years. And it's just, it's a good representation of what the artist likes and wants. Um, so I, I have really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have a specific brush shape or brand or anything that you've used that you've really enjoyed. I'm curious as to what you all use. Um, oh, if you love the paper and the subscription, there's additional sheets of paper for sale on the site in sizes A4 and A5. That's perfect. Thank you. Um, are you planning on more doing more videos for beginners? So I have a lot of videos on my channel. Um, this is also something like on Instagram that I just kind of posted. I was like, I want to know more of what you guys want to see um, on my channel. I have, I don't know the exact number. Let's see. I don't know the exact number. But I have about eight... 862 862 videos on my channel so it's it's hard you might have to go for a deep dive <laughs> into what's on there but I have so many videos for beginners um, intermediate I don't have a lot of advanced videos that's not really who the market I kind of uh, pertain to I wouldn't say I'm an extremely advanced watercolor artist myself like I know a lot of the basics. I love teaching and I have my own style. Um, but like the really, I don't know what you would consider as advanced, like detailed work, realism. Like that's not my thing. Um, but most of my videos are very beginner friendly. I have beginner series of all techniques. I've, I've done a few of them over the years. Um, I have a lot of beginner tutorials of specific paintings using those techniques. Just a lot of different things. So if you're looking for something specific, you can always type into YouTube like Emma LaFave trees, Emma LaFave bird, Emma LaFave beginner, and then all my videos will pop up that have those keywords in them. So definitely check that out. Um, are they versatile enough for someone who doesn't do many florals? Yes, for sure. So this is marketed as the floral botanical set but the benefit of having this set as well um is that you can use them for many other things like cityscapes landscapes that kind of stuff like these flat brushes are perfect for um all of them like you can do anything with them um if you are a complete beginner my first set of brushes with just the rounds are a really good option if you don't want to get overwhelmed with learning a bunch of brush shapes and stuff like that that's totally fine too but yes, you can, they're very versatile. You can use them for anything for sure. Um, you paint in the monthly series. Oh, your paint in the monthly series is Windsor and Newton. Which monthly series are you referring to? Trudy. Um, Love all your videos and I'm enjoying the monthly subscription. Oh, I'm so glad. I love doing that project. Honestly, that was so much fun. Those monthly subscription boxes were just so much fun to do. And the hardest thing, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do because we were really, you know, trying to figure out how to create multiple different paintings using a specific number of brushes and paint uh, colors and then how I was going to mix them. It was just, it was bananas, but it was so much fun to do. And, um, I'm looking forward to doing something again. <laughs> That's all I'll say. But yeah. So much fun. 
These are beautiful. Yay. Thank you. <clears throat> the box set. Um, your paint in the monthly series. Is it Windsor and Newton? I, I think you mean the subscription boxes, Trudy? Um, the subscription boxes, they're not Windsor and Newton paints. No. They are a paint that we have sourced. Um, but I, I like them. They're pretty decent. They're a good pan paint. We are looking into other other paints as well for other things. But I could actually, I can, you know what, maybe I'll, I'll bust those out as well. And we can use them. I love creating bright florals. Just ordered your new brush set. Thank you so much, Linda. This is fun. <laughs> I feel like I don't just like, should I paint a rose? I feel like Valentine's Day is so rose-like and I just ha didn't paint one yet. Actually, I'm going to show you how to paint one with a the flat brush. It's fun. I actually almost like it better because there is some sort of like sharpen kind of triangular quality to a rose like it's not all curves necessarily so I'm just using the tip the side of my brush and I'm just kind of doing light pressure heavy pressure light and just pressing down you get these kind of more geometric shapes too much water oops way too much water <laughs> spread it around I don't have as much room as I'd like. That's okay. Let's grab a little bit of purple, maybe. Um, what do you have planned for Valentine's Day? Packing. <laughs> we are going on our first vacation tomorrow as a family. Um, and so we are packing tonight. That's what we are doing. This is my Valentine's Day party. My husband and I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day too much. Every day is Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're not really doing anything. Um, made my, my boys some heart-shaped waffles today for breakfast. And then made Noah his heart-shaped lunch for school. Everything was a heart. Except his apples, and he was like, why aren't they heart-shaped? I'm like, because everything else is, and I'm tired. <laughs> Children. Um, yeah. How are these with gouache? These would work perfectly for gouache, too. Um, lots of fun. Like, it, the only thing I wouldn't use them, like, you can use them for acrylic paint, obviously, but if you were using them for watercolor as well, I wouldn't mix... Uh, mediums just because acrylic paint is a bit harsher on brushes but these would work well for gouache as well for sure this is kind of a mishmash of a bunch of flowers I'm just painting the rose feels very out of place <laughs> but I'm okay with that um Crew's going where? We're going to some uh, tropical islands. The Caribbean. I'm excited. It's going to be so fun. I've never been on a cruise. Ever. I've barely been on a vacation, to be honest. So I'm very excited. To just be going somewhere where there's sunshine. <laughs> Especially today, it's been so cold. Okay, let's use this fine little detail brush for some centers. I just like love the little dots you can make. <clears throat> yeah, one thing I like about this detail brush, because it's longer, you don't have to load it as much. If you have like a size one round, I find because they're a lot shorter, you have to load it a lot more. 
because it doesn't hold as much water and paint. Like I'm still going with this one dab, right? Do you, well, someone said, do you hang my art in your home? Some of it, not a lot, to be honest. Like I think I have that, uh, imposter syndrome <laughs> where, I mean, I know I do in a lot of ways, but like as an artist, like I sometimes like to focus more on, I, I, I feel like I'm more of a teacher than an artist myself, if that makes sense. So I don't like create a lot of pieces to hang or give or sell. That's why I, I also just don't really sell my artwork. Just an insecurity of mine. But I used to, when I first started out and I was painting just for fun, you know, a lot of friends and family would be like, oh, can you create this for my house and stuff? And I did. And then once I started teaching, I kind of found my, my thing, which I liked even more, which was teaching others how to do it. But I do have some art pieces around like from a long time ago, which I should probably update, but I'll be honest. There's so many times that I create things that I just don't like for myself, but that's just me being stubborn and too hard on myself. I'm sure. <clears throat> um, just received beautiful flowers and candy from my grandson. Who's four. Aw. <clears throat> I love that. So I was trying to make Valentine's with Miles. I wanted to do his handprint. When Noah was Miles' age, we made Valentine's with his handprints. And then I put a string of how long his arms were lengthwise. And it was like a hug that we were sending. And I wanted to do that with Noah. So <laughs> Miles does not like paint on his hands. And he got really angry and he refused to do it. So that was fun. And we just didn't end up getting around to sending anything to family because he just was not having any of it. He wouldn't even let me trace his hand. He was just like mortified of having anything on his hands. I was like, oh, okay. You know, second child. They're a little, they're bred a little differently. <laughs> but yeah, so he, he does his own thing, but I wanted to do something cute, but it's just, it's been a very, very busy month. So we didn't really get around to doing a lot for Valentine's Day. But yeah. See, this is all over the place. This isn't even really a cohesive piece. It's not flowing well, but I'm just playing and just showing you kind of the flowers that you can do with it. Don't like this rose there. It's bugging me, but let's cre create a smaller rose over here with a smaller brush. I'm just gonna Try and create these little triangular shapes. My favorite was when I was teaching kindergarten at Valentine's Day. And just watching the kids give out their Valentines and stuff. I love that. Friendship, love. I made sure to get my son's teachers some cute little Valentine's Day gifts just because... I love that. Show them appreciation for everything they do. When a hobby becomes your job, it's hard to find your enjoyment. For sure. It's true. Like, I knew when I started painting that I didn't want to do commission work. Because I knew that I would lose it very quickly. Like, my love for it. Because if I had to paint commission stuff that other people wanted me to do and I just wasn't into it I think I'd feel the pressure too much and I just would give up you know what I mean um especially if I was creating a lot of the same stuff so I like that I have the freedom on my channel to kind of do my own thing um just it just a lot of it, like, I mean, there is obviously a lot of times where I feel the pressure to create videos for others where I'm doing what they want and I've I've been really hard on myself kind of been like I need to do things that are going to get lots of likes or views because you know this is my livelihood and I it, it does depend on that my income does depend on that kind of stuff so there is a lot of that pressure but it's also nice that I am my own boss and that if I don't want to paint something, I don't have to. So it's, it's a balancing act for sure. 
of how to kind of go all about this. <clears throat> so, but I, one thing I am learning is to paint for myself. That is a lesson that I keep having to go back to and make sure I do because that's when you start to lose your love for something is when you're just doing it with everyone else in mind or painting, painting to create for others and you forget why, you know, why you do something that you love. So are you self-taught or did you go to art school? So I, um, for watercolor, I'm mostly self-taught-ish. I took a watercolor workshop from a artist in Ontario back when I first started. Her name is Stephanie Fahrenbach. She's an incredible watercolor artist, but she mostly does oils now, um, floral artists. And I went to her workshop and I was just in love, like fell in love with her style and everything. And then I just kept practicing and practicing. And then I decided to start a YouTube channel where I was kind of teaching what I was learning, but also kind of figuring out on my own. And, you know, it was kind of how it all happened. I don't know what I'm doing here with this, but I'm trying to make it messy. So yeah, I, d I didn't go to art school for it. Um, I did go to an arts high school, but I feel like that doesn't count. That was like ages ago. And I used to skip art class all the time. <laughs> I did not like art class at all, which is funny because like now I would, I would love to go to art school now. I would love to take art history. When I have the time, I've decided that when I'm older, and the kids are both in school, I'm going to do that. I am going to go to do some courses in art or something. Woohoo! 135 recently purchased. Thank you guys so much. So exciting. Just making sure I didn't forget anything. So there's, there's that. I mean, I could definitely fill it up. I'm going to try and do something a bit more structured, I think, just for fun. Um, this paper, Academy watercolor paper, is actually really nice to use for this kind of stuff. Ugh. Yes, I use a ruler to take my watercolor paper off the block. <laughs> I used to use scissors, and then I would always constantly make a boo-boo and cut my paper. So I find my ruler works the best. Do you ever paint more complicated flowers, botanicals? Um, not really. I, I find I'm more of a loose watercolor artist. Um, I don't do a lot of detailed stuff. So that's just kind of my comfort zone. Um, I also don't have a lot of patience in the attention span for more difficult kind of stuff. I love beginner stuff because that's where I started and I just love teaching. Um, I wonder if I should do like a heart. I'm going to do a heart. I feel like I've done this before, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, okay. I'm going to draw a heart. That looks about right. And if you want to do this, I think I've done a tutorial. Actually, this was one of something similar in one of my boxes. Um, you could always grab some masking fluid to mask around and then you won't paint over the edges, but you don't have to, but I'm going to paint this. Okay. One thing I've learned about painting with, uh, like in, within a heart, don't put a big flower here and here, or it looks like boobs. <laughs> so have them like off centered. <laughs> if you're going to have one up in the big part here have one down here not here and here don't make it symmetrical is there anything you could absolutely not paint um i don't love painting uh animals i don't it's just because it's i find it really difficult but i mean i could always try i have done a few animals before but they're not my favorite things to do. They're just really difficult. The detail I find that goes into them. I find it a lot harder to get away with painting loose animals, if that makes sense, you know? So 
I tend to go for a bit more. Like I, I, I love flowers. Um, landscapes would probably be my second bet of what I enjoy painting the most. Um, but yeah, animals are hard and people like realistic people. I like illustration vibes a bit more, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm really curious to know what is in the giant palette. When will that video be out? Um, so this video for my ultimate palette here, I know it's big. It's nice. This is a Shinhan palette. Um, and it has 53 wells in it. I filled up 50 and it's ginormous and I love it, but it's a bunch of different brands of paint of tube paint. I, I collected all of my tube paints that I have and I narrowed it down to 50 colors that I wanted to put in here. Um, and that's coming out not this week. I think it is it next Friday. I don't remember. But yeah, it will come out. I promise you will see it. It's a fun video if you're into that kind of video, <laughs> which surprisingly I, a lot of people said they were. Don't know if I love doing roses as much anymore. But it's fun. I just want something bright. Looks a little bit more like a ranunculus, I think, which I love too. Emma, would you ever consider doing in-person classes for those lucky enough to be close by to you? That is my goal. I've been talking about this for ages and I want to so bad. It's just figuring out the logistics of everything of like where and when to get the products and all that stuff. I do want to do something in person really, really bad. Um, that was my, <laughs> my goal for 2020 and then, you know, pandemic. So that happened. Um, but yes, I do want to. I am in Niagara. So I live by a ton of wineries. And I think it would be so beautiful to do it out here somewhere. My husband and I were even talking about like doing like retreat kind of things, like figuring that side out. Um, so that could be a lot of fun. It's just... We have so much on our plate right now, just with two little kids and all of that. So it's just trying to figure out two little kids and no babysitter. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out the logistics of everything. But yes, that is something I really, really want to do. Like really, 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 really want to do. So I'm hoping that I can get around to doing that at some point because seeing people in person would be so much more fun than feeling like I'm talking to myself like I'm crazy <laughs> which is how I feel most days when I'm sitting at my desk and filming like just talking to myself and I love when I go okay like you guys are gonna answer but you're not here so would you do the eucalyptus leaf again? Yes, I can totally do that. Let's do it here. Okay, I'm gonna grab a color. I'm gonna do a stem. I love when you get a good color bleed. And you just put the tip of the brush down and then you move the back around. Twist it. hard because I'm doing it in a small space right now or you could just use the tip of your brush like that tip down drag the back around it's almost like a little heart cute like that <clears throat> just because you can't hear us doesn't mean we aren't answering true true that's how I hope it is I 
at least there are people watching, right? What brush are you using now? So I was just using um, uh, the Eight Dagger. Paint and sip wine is fun fun. Agreed. Um, when I was planning to do in-person things, uh, classes, things, classes, um, I first, I did like a trial workshop with family and friends at my house. It was December 2019. And, uh, so I had a bunch of friends and wine and all that stuff. And I was just kind of testing it out to see how it would be. And I loved it. It was so much fun. And then the pandemic hit. <laughs> But I do definitely want to do it, like, so badly. I just got to also work up the courage to put it all together. I like it. I like it. What brush do I want to use now? I'm use a bit more of the Filbert. A little bit more. Pink. I'm trying to make it flat on this side so it doesn't go over. the heart line. That. Get a little bit of yellow in there. Do some eucalyptus over here to balance it out. I have trouble doing the peonies the way you've taught to do them. Any suggestion or any other way of doing them? Are you talking about with this brush or how I've taught in the past? Um, I feel like I haven't done a lot of peonies in a while, but I could definitely do it. That was like my go-to flower when I first started, for sure. I think that was one of my first tutorials was the peony. Um, but yeah, it's, those just also take a lot of practice too. If it's not clicking or making sense, it's just, you know, um, try it a different way. I can look into how I've taught them and see if there's a different way. Um, how I've taught them in the past. Maybe I'll try more with the filbert brush. The filbert brush actually does make it a lot easier, I find. Um, but with anything, it just kind of takes practice and playing around and seeing how things work. But yeah. Let's see how we're doing on the website. 147 woohoo I'm excited once you guys use them if you are on social media um, I would love to see videos or p photos of you with your new brush sets or what you've painted with them just I'd love when you guys share that it's so fun seeing them in action so make sure you tag me and Craftimo I like this heart actually. It's a lot brighter than I usually do. Fun. Just gonna add random pink and yellow over here. Like there's a flower. Oh, and my, my dog's barking. So we're dropping our dog off at a doggy hotel tomorrow for our um, because we're going on vacation and I'm so nervous. We've never left him before. So nervous. And he's such a special, anxious dog at times. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, Mama. hi baby. You want to say hi to people? Hi. <laughs> My big Valentine is here. So like I'm live with a bunch of people chatting right there. How was school? Good. Yeah? What you did you get Valentine's? Yeah, I got a whole bag. Oh, I can't wait and to And I see made that. a dragon mask. Oh, for uh, uh for Chinese New Year? Perfect. I it, it, these pants mine. They are. What happened to your other pants? I painted oh. it. <laughs> you made it. Okay. I shouldn't have asked. Bye you bye camera. everyone. Bye, love you. I peed in it. Yeah. Okay. Sounds about right. <laughs> 
Too much excitement. Too much excitement for Valentine's Day, apparently. <laughs> oh, my little monster. Yeah. So, that's Noah. Gotta love him. Now I'm just gonna fill in with smaller things. You know, things. Because we're getting... Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. Hold on, I'm just gonna go close the door because he left it open. Okay. And then we'll just finish this up. Typical Tuesday, yep. <laughs> oh my god, I love kids. I know. He's he's such a ham. Doesn't even phase them, eh? Yeah, I just peed in my pants, you know. Oh, kindergarten. There are days I miss it, then there are days I'm like, yep, I'm, I just have one at home. I don't need any more. I don't miss, I miss teaching, but I don't miss teaching, you know? There's like days. But the days I do miss teaching, I just get to go and volunteer in his class, which I've done a few times. I actually taught them uh, how to paint watercolor poppies for Remembrance Day, which was so much fun, and they did so good. And they loved it. They didn't want to stop painting, which was so cute. Um, but yeah, so the days I miss it, I can just go visit. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to take my liner brush and do some little stems off some of these little ones and then I can do little tiny leaves if I wanted You were one of the first watercolor artists I watched way back in September. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> like that, I will go through the centers with some of those. I just want to add some more of this color in there. Just filling it up. really kind of get to the edges so you get that heart shape like that and then you can add I'm going to add a little bit more to my peony here looks a little weird but it's okay <laughs> I missed it did you use masking fluid no not for this one and then dark centers that just kind of I might even add some in here maybe this is like an open peony and I know it would be like a, a yellow but I want a little bit more contrast in here not every flower has to be realistic or you know true to its you know parts you can just paint to paint make up your own rules and your own flowers I do that a lot of the time. <laughs> there we go. Um, thank you for all the videos. Order the new brushes at 11 a.m. Been following you since 2017. Wow, thank you, Rosemary. That's crazy. There we go. There's our like super bright kind of Valentine's Day heart. Went a lot brighter than I usually do. But that's so much fun, and these brushes are so much fun to use. Um, but yeah.
that's kind of it. So that's our, our launch party for today. Um, I'm so glad you guys could join me. Such a good time to just kind of chill out and hang out with you guys. Um, there's still brushes left if you guys are interested. Um, and yeah, it's just wonderful. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, I hope that you guys love the brushes as much as I love creating them. They're so much fun to paint with. It's fun to use new shapes and sizes and kind of just get used to um, developing skills as an artist with new materials. Um, if you're nervous about using a new brush shape, sorry, my camera's shaking, try something new. It's always good to try something new and it's going to be frustrating at first. It's always frustrating, but then you can create some pure magic with it and it's so much fun. Um, thank you guys again for hanging out with me. Thank you to Craftimo for working with me. This is so much fun. You can always reach out to them on Instagram, um, or on their website and Again, once you get your brushes, I would love, love, love to see them. I would love to see them in use. Tag me um, in any posts that you make on social media. And I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much. This was so much fun. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will be, again, out of office for the next two weeks. But my videos will be going, they're scheduled to go out for the next two weeks. So you won't be missing anything. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you for joining me in the chat. Um, and again, if you have any questions, you can always message me and I will get back to you as soon as I'm home. Have a wonderful day and I hope you guys enjoyed painting some beautiful florals with me. Bye guys.